Hi, today I'm going to do a glittery lip. Um, it's just a bit of fun really, it's quite good for a party. Um, I've already done most of the rest of my makeup. I'll tell you what I've used. I've used the Dior Nude Skin, the Compact Jelly, which I've used before in tutorials, because I wanted a really, really light base, almost like I haven't got any foundation. I've used a very small amount, because the lips are gonna be quite dramatic, and I didn't wanna look like got tons of foundation and powder on. Kept the powder quite minimal, Use however much you need. My skin's actually really, really dehydrated at the moment because the weather's so cold here in the UK and the heating's on permanently, so my face feels like it's sort of drying out. Um, so I've used powder just down the centre. Um, I've used... I've put some pencil, lingering MAC pencil in my brows, and I've used eyelashes. Um, these are my favourite eyelashes at the moment. The reason I love them, I buy them all the time for work, they're by Eyelaw, but they're the Girls Aloud ones. Um, girls Aloud being the sort of British um, pop group um, with five girls in. And these are the Nicola lashes. So these are one of the girls in the group. They're available from Superdrug. And the reason I love these lashes so much is because you can see they're really, really long at the outer corners. So um, if you want to get that quite elongated, sort of kidney shaped eye, I find that with these, you put them on, and I've used a little bit of e.l.f. cream liner just to sort of dot in between and sort of smooth a little bit. But you don't have to extend the liner because the lashes does all the work for you. It's sort of you know, they're just so sort of long and, and um, it's extended at the outer corners that it sort of replaces really having to use liner. And I almost feel that when you've got these on, you don't really need any other eye makeup. But a tiny bit of brown, I put a little bit of shale by MAC in the uh, socket line. But I think, uh, and also a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. But I think these lashes are, um, if you certainly want that kind of look, they're just perfect. To get them on, I'd say let the glue dry almost completely. Wait about four minutes uh, till it's almost dry and then stick them on. And they go on quite easily if you spend a bit of time manoeuvring them. And then just fill in the little gaps. Okay, on my cheeks, I've got um, this one, which is Topshop, and it is Crush Berry. So again, I'm keeping that sort of quite fresh look in the skin. Um, so it doesn't all become too theatrical and too sort of old-fashioned looking so fresh skin just the lashes to create all the drama on the eyes and now onto the lips so I think I'm going to do a very raspberry glittery lip I know I'm wearing red but I kind of want it to clash a little bit same with my nails the nails are American apparel and this is Malibu green but I've put an Andrea Fullerton polish over the top which is her um, glittery overcoat and I quite like this because it's sort of adds a little bit of glitter but it's not very glittery but it just tends to make any colours really pop so you can put it on top of any any existing polish. So I'm sort of going to clash a bit with the greens and the reds and the um, raspberry but um, it is more of a fun look so um, it's not an everyday look that's for sure. Okay so I'm going to start by going all over with a lip liner and I'm using Pixie number no. 5 which is a really vibrant pink and it's going to buff all over. Get a really good stain going. Once you've got it all over the natural lip shape, then you can start to slightly cheat a bit if you need to. I'm going to cheat quite a bit. I'm going to give myself quite a full mouth tonight, I think. Okay, next I'm going to use Barry M lipstick in 153. Just a thin layer, really, all over the lips. Okay, so on to the glitter. Firstly, I'm going to use Stay Glossy by Rimmel Lip Gloss in Eternal Flirt. And then I'm going to do two. I'm going to use a little bit of Neon Pink by MAC, which is in this little square pot here and I'm going to use some very pink um, glitter as well. Now some of them you find are very very fine. The fine glitters create almost like a shine on the lips and obviously feel more comfortable. The more gritty larger glitters I think are only good for sort of highlighting the sort of cupid's bow. I mean you can put them all over as well obviously they look amazing they look more um, 
obvious as well, but they they tend to feel a bit, they don't feel that nice. Um, not that any glitter feels great on your lips, but at least the fine one, you can kind of, it's you don't notice it as much, whereas the very, very large, grainy, um, um, sort of, you know, they feel a bit like sandpaper. So I'm going to start with um, the gloss. I'm just going to use a light layer of gloss all over. I'm going to start by using the neon pink glitter as a highlighter. And this is just going to go on top of the Cupid's bow and slightly a tiny bit there. Next I'm going to move on to the raspberry colour. I'm just going to start Patting that on top. So that's it, it's really, really quick. You can use any colours you want. Obviously a red lipstick with red glitter would look amazing, but I'm loving all these clashing neon pinks and raspberry pinks and clashing nail polish. Um, it's a really fun look for a party. I have worn a glitter lip out before and I found it lasted brilliantly. As long as you drink through a straw and you're not going out for dinner, it should be fine. Just take your lip gloss and your glitter out with you in your handbag so you can touch up and um, have fun with it. I uh, hope you like the look and thanks for watching.